Hey everyone, welcome back to another Excel tutorial on TubeShala. Today I am going to show you a powerful technique for enhancing your Excel spreadsheet. That is creating dependent drop down menus using the indirect function. This technique is incredibly useful for organizing data and improving user experience whether you are working on a personal project or in a professional setting. So how does it work? Well, let's drive right in. First, you will need a data set with two related columns. So once you have your data set up, you will create named ranges for each column. This makes it easier to reference them in our drop down menu. For that, we first select the range of cells containing the data set and then go to formulas here we click on create from selection and then we click on top row we uncheck all the other options and then click ok this will name the first column as Asia here we can see it the second column as Europe and the third column as America. Now the next step is to create the first drop down menu for con continents. For this we have to select the cell where we want the drop down to appear. Now go to data, click on data validation. In the data validation dialog box Under the settings tab, choose list from the allow drop down. In the source field, select the cell in which the first is the first row where continents are displayed. So this is the first row where all the continents are displayed. Now we have to click OK and that is how we make the first drop down. This is a independent drop down. Now for creating the second drop down for countries which will be dependent on the selected continents, we have to select the cell where we want the second drop down to appear. Now we have to go to again data validation and choose list in the allow drop box. In the source field, now we will be using the indirect function like this and then we will give the reference of this particular cell where the continents are given that is in cell A2 and then we will click OK and voila the second drop down has also got created which is a dependent drop down on the A2 cell showing all the countries of the American continent. If I change this continent option to Asia then here all the options will again change to dynamically change to countries related to Asia. And there you have it. By using the indirect function, you can create powerful dependent drop down menus in Excel that is streamline your data entry process and improve usability. Thanks for tuning in on today's tutorial on creating dependent drop down menus in Excel. If you have found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. And remember, practice makes everybody perfect. So grab your spreadsheet and start experimenting with dependent drop downs menu now. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.